Ouais. Say. We just getting started. Big shot like I'm Billy Joe with the chili flow, making silly dough. Getting dubs like I'm 10 and 0 since 2010. If you didn't know, how about I'm right in the city? It's feeling like Philly, I'm feeling like me. I'm city cooking, the fan gotta eat. Tell Let's bring that across, across the swamp. Well guys, it's a hell of a video for you guys today, but before we start on that, I just gotta go ahead and tell you guys, we are stocked back up in merch. Christian, what we got, dude? <laughs> what we got? We got three new <laughs> items, we got a hat and two t-shirts. Dude, check this out. So we brought back the happy hour. It is absolutely sick. We got BP Racing and an It'll Buff hat all live on the website. You guys have only until this Friday to order your merchandise, and then we're gonna ship it out to you guys. We're doing this all out of my spare bedroom, and I cannot believe how many of you guys showed so much love and support on the last drop. You guys absolutely blew us away. We were sold out in like four hours and then had to run pre-sale just to keep up with the quantities you guys were wanting. We got plenty of happy hour shirts. We got plenty of BP racing shirts. Brie, let me, let me see that shirt, girl. Let me see it. Oh, Shit, yeah. turn around. That's what I'm talking about. Check out the new happy hour. This blue is so sick. Like we said, we got the best shirts on the market. These things are the most comfy. They will not shrink in the dryer. And we got hats on this drop. Check it out. The it'll buff hat. Now these are the Richardson's 112s. I know everyone's diehards for these hats. What do you think? Christian. Dude, that's wearing hats <laughs> in the game. Now, if you guys are watching this, the website brainprice.com, it is live. First link in the description. We're going to be shipping everything out tonight in the spare bedroom. Now, how it works is we hold a bunch of inventory, and when it runs out, we're going to run pre-sales and make every shirt specific for you. So, if you want your shirt first, you need to go ahead and order now. It'll be shipped out tonight, and you'll have it this week. Otherwise, once they start going on pre-sale, shipping times might be a week, two weeks. But I don't want to bore you guys to death. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> Oh boy! Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, today's gonna be a dope video because we're doing some more stuff to the Outlander. As you guys know, we just did a little bit of a build series on this spoiler. We threw the wheels, the tires, all the RJWC parts on it, even the exhaust, and the thing is an absolute beast. But today we're actually gonna be snorkeling it so we can put it in the mud, and we have a special guest. You guys haven't seen him in a minute. Sit the garage door. Danny, buddy, how you doing, man? Doing great. You doing good? You guys doing pretty good, pretty good. What you got for me today? Well, you said you were having a little bit of a lag issue. Yeah. I think we're gonna fix that with this guy right here. <laughs> So we did get a primary clutch for it. I was a little bit down on the power when it came to popping up wheelies and stuff with this bike. Once we put the big tires on it, the clutches just did not want to handle these big tires. So we're going to switch over the clutches. What else we got, Danny? I know you like to go in the mud, so we need to make sure that we get these snorkels put on there. Yeah, right. So we got a full snorkel kit. This is actually from Can-Am, which is super sweet. Basically everything we need to waterproof this bike. Now, this bike is like a $16,000 machine and I do not feel like sinking it. I don't want any cause of this bike sinking to be on me other than putting the snorkels under the water so uh we had danny come out he's gonna do a good job he's always worked on the four wheelers and uh should be good first things first let's wash this joker Yeah, yeah, you hit the cabinet. Let's put that back. <laughs> All right, Danny, what's first on the agenda? We're going to change that primary clutch out. The clutch first? Yes. Now, Danny had told me switching these clutches is going to change so much. And I've done clutches before, and it does change a lot. We're going to get to test ride it. We're probably going to test ride it before we throw the snorkels on and uh, see how much of a difference it makes. Let's get started, Danny. You want to tear her down?
Danny, you work quick, bud. Here are the actual factory clutches. The uh, STM actually looks a hell of a lot better. Kind of a shame you gotta cover it up with a <laughs> cover. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the belt off yep. and then we'll take off the primary. I'm going to lap the new one on there. Yep. And that's so that we have a good connection with it to the crank mm -hmm. because otherwise you could spin it on the crank Ooh. and it's not gonna do what you want yeah. it to do. We figure that out. Once we get that off with the new STM on there, it'll be ready to rip and we can go try it out. Perfect. I'm excited to try it. So we're ripping off the primary. Uh-oh. What? Don't say uh-oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, right now it's under tension. Yeah. You it's a bomb. It's a, it's yeah, a it's a bomb. Out. Yeah. So, you either take a rubber mallet or hit it. I got one. You need one? Yeah, you're going to need that. Yeah, let's uh, defuse the bomb real quick. Search and destroy. There it is. <laughs> and this is what we were talking about the two piece uh -huh. primary okay. that you get with it. So, yeah. I didn't realize they came off they like came that. They came off. Yeah. This is how they'll come off. But that doesn't come off like that. Yeah. That's one all piece. one piece. That's what the benefit of getting that one yeah. versus this one. Sweet. Still a good clutch. Yeah. That's, that's better. Cool. I can't remember if I've ever messed with the clutches on the Can-Am. I have messed with the clutches on other four-wheelers, but never Can-Am, I don't think. Other than changing belts and all the, you know, maintenance. You got one of those? I think I do you somewhere. Have. I'm pretty sure I do. I mean, you own Can-Ams. You should yeah, probably have. I'm pretty sure I got one. <laughs> it's have. been a while. I've only been out of the mudding scene for like, I don't know, six months now. I need a bigger gun. Uh oh. I go with a got a breaker bar. Breaker bar, and then we'll have to do a pry bar. Let's see, pry bar. I got a bigger one somewhere. This will do what I need it to do. What we're gonna do is hold behind this clutch. We're just trying to keep it from spinning. Gonna want to go that way. Son of a gun. Let's try your little guy that you had. <clears throat> oh, it's not gonna. Oh. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to put grease in there. Nanny. I got something to show you about. All right, check that joker out. You remember last time? Yeah. I got me a Dremel now, son. <laughs> the good one. Put it in the comments if you guys remember that clip. All right, you got a grease gun? Yeah. We're gonna load that sucker up. So now we know there's grease in there. Did Sorry. you see how easy that was? That was insane. <laughs> just do it right the first time. Put the grease in there. <laughs> really? Just pop right off? Yeah, it just pop. Wow. Now you can take this out. And since we're not using this one, we don't have to clean all that out. Because it's going to sit here probably unless you are going to put it on something else. Hey, let me see your shaft. <laughs> no, thanks. Appreciate it, Mom. Just cleaning Danny's shaft. No, thanks for cleaning my shaft. You're welcome, buddy. Can you clean my other shaft, though? Yeah. Just kidding, I got one right here, I'll clean it. You, go. you got any brake cleaner or anything like that? So we sprayed. We sure do. I sprayed it all over the floor to get all the paint up, so not much. I don't know. Oh. You got enough. Oh shit. Is it enough just for me to shoot it in there? Oh, no clue. <laughs> <laughs> right, mm. Let's see. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can try to get some more. <laughs> Engine degreaser? Yeah, that will work. Just gotta make sure I get it all off. Here's yeah. the good stuff. This is for when you're laughing it. Put a little bit on there. What is that? This is actually like a sanding compound. Yeah. And what it does is it sands it for you. And you're essentially making that bond with that crank now. So yeah. you're marrying the STM to yeah. your crank. And you just put it on there and then you spin it around. Some people say 15, some people say 30, whatever feels right. I never would have thought people would go to that extent on clutches. A lot of people, if they haven't done this, this is one of those things they forget. And you can kind of get away from it. But the more power we put to this, you're going to notice that for some reason you have a little hiccup or yeah, something okay. like that all right so after you do the lapping make sure you clean all that lapping compound out you don't want that in there or on the extra the smooth crate. Day, bud. once that's clean then you can slap her on there looks sexy oh now it's all done just kidding it's not done. <laughs> crank on her danny crank on her there it is all right now we throw the belt on it's done see. Danny, we're gonna see how it's gonna go. I'm gonna have to have you come more often, man. <laughs> this is nice. Well, Danny's about to throw this belt back on, and then we get to go ride this thing. I'm really excited to see how much it helps the torque on this bike with these bigger and heavier tires. So uh, let's just go ahead and let's cut it to the GoPro. All right, boys, we got the belt box cover back on. It is time to rip it. Hopefully these clutches, do you think they're gonna like surprise me? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm stoked. Top up on this thing. See what she's got. Started off in high. Hopefully we don't run out of fuel. We are low on fuel. Oh, we definitely gotta throw it in sport mode. I feel like I can already feel it. All right, if this thing comes up into a wheelie, easy. It's probably gonna spin out, honestly. Let's see. Oh, shit. It does scoot. Let's hit it. Yeah, okay. That is rocking. That's definitely more ass. Yeah, that's definitely more bike. I'm not gonna get the traction I need, so let's do like a 20 roll and stomp it and see what it's like. Yeah, that definitely added it up. <laughs> that 
That thing's skating, bro. That definitely bumped the power up, but we still run into the problem. We don't have the traction because of the naders on the hardback in the mud. This thing's definitely gonna pull like a freaking train, but on concrete, the traction's not there. I mean, just like look at it. That is nuts. That clutching was definitely worth the money. Yeah, I can definitely feel that. Yeah, for sure. It definitely bumped it up. I haven't even put it in low, see what low's like. I guess I'm gonna do four wheel drive because it has no traction. Holy, I'm gonna do a little pull in the dirt right here. Well, this is hard packed dirt, so it might just spin out again. But it'll get more traction than on the pavement. Yep. Oh, little scrub action. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot more ass. I like it. That is sweet. <laughs> That's good. I want to go throw it in like some mud to really feel it. The the tires, they don't grab on the pavement. I want to grab on the pavement. No. You found it over there. Oh yeah, in the dirt, it freaking ripped. Put this thing back in the garage so we can do the snorkel so we can go put it in some mud. Yeah, that's definitely more bike. It's not back to stock yeah. with the stock tires, but it is definitely pulling on those naders a hell of a lot harder. The shop you work at now yes. has a dyno. So that's in the future. We're gonna have to put it on the dyno. Absolutely. We're definitely gonna go ride it more, but we're about to do the snorkel so I can go put it in mud and I don't wanna go get the bike dirty just to test out the clutches fully just yet. But uh, the naders are definitely burning down. Brother. What? Come on. They're brand new, bud. <laughs> but we're gonna start on this snorkel and once this snorkel's complete, we get to go actually mud ride this bike for the very first time. So you guys are gonna wanna stick around for it. Danny, let's get these snorkels on, bud. You got it. Let's send it. Just finished up. We're actually started on the big Audi and it started pouring rain outside. So we're gonna have to wait for this rain to pass before we go ride it, but it'll be really quick for you guys. But check this thing out. Shoo, baby. That is sweet. So we got the snorkel set up. That horn actually looks really good on this bike. It looks super, super sick. Definitely unique. I like it. I like it. But this thing is ready for the mud. It's ready for the water. Luckily, we got the mud holes filling up. So as soon as this rain passes, we're gonna hop on it. We're gonna go ride. We're gonna go test this thing out for the very first time in water guys stay tuned oh baby guys today is the day we're actually getting to go put this thing in the water danny actually left yesterday the rain just would not stop and it finally stopped and i'm sure the pond and the mud hole is filled to the brim this is gonna be fun i'm like extremely nervous about this because of this four wheeler sinks i'm so f but we're gonna head over to the pond first we're gonna test out make sure this thing is waterproof and then we're gonna take it to the swamp no one has hit the swamp in forever so that mud is gonna be Terrible. That's gonna be some thick stuff. But first, we gotta make sure this thing's gonna run underwater before we go toss it in the mud hole. Oh, me. Oh my gosh. Look at that muskrat, bro. That's exactly what that is. That is a big muskrat. Holy shit. We're gonna have to shoot him with the 17. I think to start, we're just gonna back this thing in and uh, see if she runs right. If she cuts off, I'm probably gonna cry in this video. FYI. Oh man, that makes me so nervous. Come on, baby. Please just do what you're supposed to. I don't want no problems. So far, so good. First time this thing's been in water. That's to the fill line. So that right there is my top snorkel. I mean, it don't get past that right there. Go any higher than that, you're gonna take water in that belt box. I feel like we got water in the belt. Did we? Yeah, I think there's water in the belt. I got water in the belt. Not good. I mean, I really do not think I went too deep. Yeah, no, I did not go too deep. That snorkel, I can feel it right there. Water line was like here. Yeah, no, we got a leak somewhere. Pull that drain off. Yeah, she is pouring water. That is not good, man. She is dumping water. 
Holy shit. It's still dumping water. I've been sitting here for like 20 seconds. Yeah, that belt box was slammed full. So I do have a trick to show you guys that I'd prefer not to do on this bike with the brand new clutches and everything, but we're gonna. Damn it, bro. That's the problem with snorkeling a machine. You can never get it perfect. So being that we sunk the uh, belt box, we get to tear all back into it. See, this is why I really wanted to do this while Danny was here. Cause I'm not no mechanic, okay? I can do mechanic stuff, but I don't prefer to. And this is why we go in the pond first. Cause at least now we don't have to work on a muddy bike. Pull this cover off. Okay, so I did have to do this not long ago. The best way to do this, honestly, fill the belt box up with water and then find the leak. Just backtrack it. I already got water in there. It's already got seen water. It's already gotten dirty. There's no reason for me not to put clean water in there just to find a leak and seal it off so we don't get any dirty, dirty water from the swamp in there. So let's go get the water hose. Do not ever fill up your air box snorkel, but uh, we're gonna fill up this belt box right here. Start looking for a leak. There's a leak right there on that hose clamp. Okay, right back here, it is dumping water. Look at it coming out right here. Can you get a shot of that? Look at it just dumping. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's pouring. Let's see if we can snug that up. Yep, that bolt just wasn't tight enough. So I'm gonna snug all these up and make sure they're all good and tight. Well, at least that was a problem. Yeah, there's still a slight leak up here that I wanna figure out. All right, so all those are tight now. Fill it back up, see if we can find another leak. Still leaking back here. Bad too. So if I had to get Yes, this seal wasn't sealing over here. See how it's already popped out? Yep. I bet it wasn't popped in whenever it was put on. Yeah, this seal should be watertight. Put it back on and try again. All right, boys, round two. Round three. Round three. Took the airbox lid off. Re-put the seal back on there. Hope we're good. Yeah, we got drippage down at the bottom. Same spot? Different spot. Like, bad? It's not crazy. You can see it right there. Right there, you see that? Oh yeah, it's not crazy, but it's definitely there. Uh, it's definitely taking on water at that rate. That was a lot of water in the air box. Air box is full of water. That's not good. No, I started looking at that one and I was like, that's got water in it. I fixed the uh, belt box, we're good there. Oh, baby, it's finally time to go rip this thing. We actually had to put a new air box in it. The air box had a crack in it, and I was not okay with just sealing up the air box. But brand new air box should be good. Lord, let's hope. I am telling you right now, it's been quite the treat trying to get this thing right. I ain't gonna front. So as you guys seen, we did take this thing into the pond, and we got water not only in the belt box. The belt box was taking on hella water. Got that as you saw, but then the air box had a probably half a solo cup of water in it. I really don't even want to have to check the air box after we get out of here. Well, we're going back her on back into the pond and see if we can go mud ride this thing. Hope the water ain't too cold. Okay, let's hope for the best. Woo, that water is cold. Goodness gracious. That water is cold, bro. <laughs> Ah, you're kidding. I about had it with this thing. That's belt. So it's gonna be this top clamp because that's the only thing that got taken off whenever we had to redo the air box. Or it doesn't have a drain on the air box or the belt box. Yeah, because it is it's pouring out. Back to the garage. This belt's gonna explode before we ever get the mud ride. Well, I don't know why that isn't on, bro. I hope we have one of these. I see it sitting right over there. Got it. Okay. Put this mamma jamma back on. And we gonna call it good. I guess let's go run one more test. I'm really hoping we got it right now. I mean, this has been an absolute pain in my rear. All right, let's try one more time. Let's see if we got it. Can we at least wheelie it out of the pond one time? Come on now. I think it's safe to say we're all getting tired of this. Oh yeah. Now it's action, baby. What the hell? You hear that too, bud? I'd really like to check the air box, but since it's not the XMR model, I don't have the extended tube, so I gotta take the plastics off. We probably should. Why? Just to be sure, man. Or do we just send it? Okay, we send it. Dude, it's been a while since I've had a can am in the pond. Holy cow, man. It has definitely been a while. Why is it so, like, leaning the right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. We got to go to the swamp. We just got to go send it. Let the naders eat, baby. Let's go to the swamp, baby. <laughs> Woo! She digging, baby. Finally, we have the snorkeled Outlander, bro. This took absolutely forever. Now it's time to rip. Oh, my gosh, boys. We have not been in the swamp in forever. Look at how nasty it is, bro. It's probably been five months since we've had a foiler go through the swamp. It's going to be the thickest nastiest stuff bro guys i am so excited to have this foiler back i do wish we got to figure out if we can get diff lock on this bike i should have realized it didn't come with diff lock i thought all the 2023s did i was wrong all right you ready for the first send ever i'm just gonna launch her baby Woo! <laughs> dude that son of a gun 
rip. See if it digs through. I feel like it's been a while since I've been sitting on naders, and the naders definitely eat. Dude, I mean, it picked up and went. Oh yeah, there's a big root right here. Dude, I done forgot this swamp. Yeah, now we're on the big root. The naders are digging us to the bottom. Oh me, this is gross. Oh dude, I can feel like the mud wall riding up the bike. I don't know how I'm gonna get over that root. That thing has gotten bad. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, back on that stump. We just get around the stump, we're solid. The naders just dig so hard. Yeah, we're having to ease out. Woo! She's down in it, son. Woo! We're gonna try to turn out left. Boy, we are in here like swimwear. These mud walls are insane. Before I dig it out, I wanna just stomp it. Back up just enough. Low, stomp it. Woo! She eats. Woo! That's deep. Woohoo! I gotta get back on this thing. This is where diff lock plays a huge part. Yep, we're gonna have to put diff lock back on this bike. Diff lock's necessary on these mud bikes, man. Boys, we're in it. Oh, it almost had it. That is such a wall to get up. We might have put this thing in the pool after this. All right, I gotta see if I can get out of here, dude. See if we can turn around. It's gonna be hard to turn around, but we gonna try. Hello, there's a wall. The swamp is bad. Like I was saying, boys, this shit's gnarly. We just gotta come through here and clear out the mud. Dig, baby. Yeah, we're going now. Smoke too soon. Dude, there's a foot of mud in my floorboard. Damn, guys, I mean, this might be the whole video. Let's throw her in high and see how she reacts. Little chuggy. Throw her back in the low. I basically sent it right into the deep hole. Probably was a bad idea. Come on, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We are back in the mud in business. Let's hit this hole. We gotta send her hard. We gotta dominate this swamp real quick. All right, high or low? What are you thinking? High. High? I don't know if she's gonna chug. Woo! Oh, she might go. All the way through and high, baby. Let's get it. Come on, come on. We're chugging it. She ain't liking it, but she doing it. That is what I'm talking about. We gotta do that again. One more scent, baby. Holy shit, we made it far. We made it to the other side of the swamp. Bro, we skimmed it to the other side. That's what I want, though. I want a skimming rig, dude. Now, we might do some more things to add a little bit more power, but that clutch kit in this tune, it opened it up. Christian, I don't know, bro. That's a lot of fun. The swamp hasn't been ridden like wow. that in forever. Bro, it's been like five or six months since we've been in the swamp. I didn't know it was that bad. Well, the thing is, when no one rides in it, all the muck settles from that big rut, right? It just fills in with silt. Instead of a normal swamp where it's that deep of mud, now we got a silt layer that deep because that's the rut. I'm going to skim it one more time. I got to. We're gonna launch this toad, you heard? Now this isn't technically the first mudding video. We're just testing the bike, making sure everything's good to go. We're hitting it high. If you get slowed up and sink down, I mean, you can throw it in low if need be. But we're gonna definitely do a full out like mudding in the pond and swamp video. Right now it's testing, all right? All right, boys. Let's send her across the swamp. Woo! Come on, baby. Yeah, it's chugging it high. Probably not the best for it, but it's doing it. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm talking about. Christian, I think we're gonna have to call it a night. Let's go back, let's check the air box, check the belt box, make sure no water's in it. And we're gonna have to do a whole nother video on like actually mudding the dog piss out of it and like really testing how far it can go. All right, let's roll back. Oh my goodness. Well guys, I'm gonna pressure wash this bike because uh, it needs it bad. We're gonna get this thing nice and spiffy clean, stick it back in the garage. Oh gosh, I'm tearing up the yard. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please smash that thumbs up button, hit the like, button subscribe if you have not already check out merch first link in the description this drop is the best drop we have done yet i mean absolutely sick stuff like i said gotta pressure wash this jump in the pool get nice and clean and guess what we'll catch you on the next one